Strong winds in the Gobi Desert are unwelcome for any launch mission, as rapid changes in direction would create enormous air pressure for high-speed rocket flight. The aerographer Wang Xia analyzes the weather conditions to ensure safety. She can still recall the day she first arrived at the base. I took the train from Sichuan to the launch center two years ago. First, there was a lot of grain, then the trees started to disappear. As I got closer to the base, there wasn't even any grass in sight, just sand. It can be depressing. The story of those who work in the desert reflects the spirit of China's space program, an unwavering determination to persist. As China's space program progresses, many young people have made the decision of settle down here. Like Tang Yan from the fueling department, he has to put in overtime as the launch date gets close. After the rocket reaches the launch pad, it is our job to fuel the boosters prior to the launch. We have to double check all of the docking ports on the rocket to ensure there won't be any leakage during filling. We also have to cool down the fuel to about 5 degrees Celsius 48 hours before the launch. Tiangong-2 was originally built as a backup to China's first space laboratory, the Tiangong-1, which went into orbit in 2011. The Tiangong-2 is similar in size to the Tiangong-1, but boasts a large payload capacity, better living quarters, and the new communication technologies on board. There is still a lot of preparation work that needs to be done before the launch. Transmit information from Tiangong-2 to the test center is crucial during the pre-launch drills. Tens of thousands of people are helping to prepare the space lab for launch, including thousands of people working at other locations across the country. Tiangong means heavenly palace in Chinese. The new space lab will host two astronauts for 30 days once it is docked with Shenzhou 11 spacecraft next month. China's second space lab has drawn international attention. This is the first Chinese mission of its kind. Guanyang CCTV, Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center.